Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is a tutorial on fragments in Android. A fragment is basically a reusable part of an activity, so usually it will represent part of the user interface, but not necessarily. And a fragment is self-contained, so you can use it in multiple activities, or you could have an activity that swaps in different um, fragments, swaps them in, in and out. So in this tutorial I'm just going to create a really simple demonstration of a fragment to get started. And fragments are, they were introduced in Android uh, API level 11 and they were really introduced to support big screens like uh, pads rather than phones. And I'm just working here with a little HTC Desire C so uh, this isn't the ideal platform to demonstrate fragments but fragments are useful on phones too so it's um, it's not a waste of effort by any means so i'm going to create a new android application project here and let's call it fragments demo or maybe fragments introduction and i'll set the package to com.cave of programming dot android Dot fragments and of course you would want to use your own package name in there and I'll set the minimum required SDK to SDK 11 here honeycomb which is when fragments were introduced I believe and I'll say that I don't want this icon let's just click next next and finish now let's create start off with a fragment class so what I'll do is I've got a um, I've got a bunch of Java courses and I'll create a little fragment to start off with that displays an icon for my course and some text introducing it and I'll just kind of hard code stuff in a minute and just get this up and running and we'll kind of elaborate this more in future tutorials. So I'll right click this package and I'll go to new class and let's call this something like product fragment. So the idea is this is a fragment that showcases a particular product and I'll click, uh, well actually I'll change this subclass to fragment here fragment and I'll just click browse and select android.app fragment and click finish and now let's right click and go to source override implement methods and there are three particularly important methods here that we might want to override and one is on create and that's where you would do any kind of initialization, non-view initialization anyway and then we've also got on create view and this is where you create the view for your fragment if it has a view and on create view can return null if your fragment doesn't have a view but usually it will do and we, we, we might as well also override although I, I probably won't use it here on pause and fragments actually have their own life cycle and if your parent activity is destroyed, the fragment will be destroyed and so on. But fragments can also be destroyed and paused and so on separately to the activity that they're in. And a fragment can be removed from an activity, for example. So uh, because um, an activity or a fragment, if it's going to be destroyed, if it's going to be stopped or destroyed, it will first go through on pause. On pause is a really good place to save any data that you need to save. I probably won't use it here but we could put a comment here save data if necessary and you would you would probably only want to save small amounts of data in there and if you have a lot of data to save then you want to be saving that as you as you go along when your fragment is actually actually active of course it's the same with an activity. I'll leave um, super.onCreate in this onCreate here and we could put more initialization here. So 
let's say here, initialization here. And here in on create view, that's what I'm going to use in this tutorial to create my view. So let's return null for a moment just to get rid of this compile error. And I will create a layout for this fragment. So I'm, I'll make this a visual fragment. So I'll right click layout here under res and I'll go to new Android XML file resource type layout and let's call this product fragment.xml and I'll base that on relative layout I think although you could use any layout and I'll click finish and I'll just do something really simple here because I don't want to take up time just with kind of doing basic layout stuff again but I'll have an, an image view here image view and let's give that an ID. So I'm defining the ID, so I use plus there, and let's call this image. And I'll say that the layout width is wrap content. And let's make the layout height wrap content as well. And I'll say align parent top true and let's also have center horizontal let's set that to true and maybe I'll set the padding as well let's give it a padding of let's try 10 um, dp and underneath the image view I'll have some text so the image view can display kind of a product icon for this simple example and underneath that let's have a text view so let's say text view and ID I will make text well, let's say ID um, title just for a moment title and again the layout width and layout height I'll set to wrap content so just copy those and paste this in here Let's have central horizontal as well and let's try the padding. I may delete it later. And I'll also say layout below. And I'll say that I want it below the image here. So below ID below ID image. Let's save that and see how it looks. Okay, that's okay. I probably need to set a content description here. So let's just say content description product image and I'll just do control one and add that to strings.xml. Okay, and this, this is all just stuff that we've seen before basically, but the difference is it's going to be in a fragment. So now I'll go to my I'll go back to my fragment, product fragment.java, and in here we've got an inflator already. So I can say view 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 equals inflator dot inflate and I'll use this three argument version which is used in the example on developer.android.com and for the resource here I'm going to say r dot uh, layout dot product fragment which is the XML that I just created and for the view I'm going to pass in container here which is this view group that's passed in and I'll say attach to root to root false because uh, apparently the the kind of fragment will be attached to its root container anyway so you don't want to do it twice by setting this to true and actually I found you can set that to true or false or um, or just use the two argument version it doesn't seem to make a difference but probably it does behind the scenes so let's just stick to what we see in developer.android.com which is this version of inflate and I'm going to return the view down here and if you want to do view related initialization then you're going to have to do it here because here you've got your view so let's just do that and for the moment I'll just do something really simple firstly I'll get some icons from my various courses here so I've got um, let's see I've got an Android course 
and and whoops, I mean to open it. Android course and a Java beginners. If I could just highlight these, it would be good. And servlets, swing, threads, and maybe that's it. Okay, so let's, let's just copy those. They'll certainly do anyway. I'll just copy them and I'll go to Eclipse. And I'll here, I'll just create a sort of, I'll right click res here and I'll go to new folder and create a folder called drawable because I'm not going to bother creating different resolution icons here. And I'll just right click draw drawable and I'll paste them in there. So here are my icons. And now let's set the image. Let's get the image view here and set the image on it. So I'll say image view, image view equals typecast image view view dot find view by ID because we need to use the particular view that we're creating inflating here and you and we need to call find view by ID on that and I'll say r dot id dot image that's the ID of my image view and I'll add the import for image view and let's also get the text view so text view text let's call this title view equals text view view dot find view by id r dot id dot title and at the import again and for the image view I want to set a drawable so I'll say drawable icon equals get resources dot get drawable and to get drawable I pass r dot drawable dot and let's just set initially the um, let's set this swing um, icon and so I'm just using the icon that I pasted in and now I can say image view dot set drawable set image drawable that's the one icon and I can say title view dot set and for the moment I'm just going to use set text and I'm just going to hard code some text here so let's just say swing um, mastering java swing for the title it doesn't, it, this doesn't really matter just so that I have something to display and um, and now so I've got a complete fragment now that should work and now I can include that in my main activity so let's go to the activity underscore main dot xml and look at, the, look at the xml view here and I'll get rid of the text view here and instead of text view I'll say fragment with a lowercase f and I'll add an id here and let's set the id to let's set it to product um, maybe just product for the moment I might change it later and I have to set the name so Android call on name and I'm going to set that to my fragment class so I'm going to say com.cave of programming just looking up here dot android dot fragments and you could put your fragments in a separate package of course I've just bunged everything in one package here and the name of the class is product fragment so there's my package name and then product fragment is the name of my class and let's lay this out somehow so I'll say layout width is wrap content and layout height my laptop here sounds like a helicopter but never mind it's really noisy and I, th I think that's all I have to do so let's let's just run this and see how it looks I'm going to run it as an Android application and what I'll do is I'll um, I'll maybe I'll probably create like a couple of fragments and we'll have them communicating with each other and stuff like that but initially I just want to show you how to get a basic one basic fragment up and running so let's go to 
my screencast which is down here somewhere there it is and here's my fragment it's not very pretty but that's because I just bunged it together really fast and uh, I could do some things to make it look nicer like for example maybe set the text color to black and set the background of the relative layout to white so I'll probably do stuff like um, in text view say text color equals android colon color um, black and on the on the relative layout here I might want to do something like um, background equals android color white stuff like that possibilities are endless really but you get the idea so that's that's a basic fragment and we'll go on to do some more stuff with fragments in the next tutorial so join me again for the next one and until next time happy coding